that weren't out on the tour yesterday and don't know that. Um, we're just really, really proud uh, for all of you. Uh, on Monday, we promised these couple of days would be about networking, continued learning, campus immersion, and so long as you didn't blow it, he's for graduation. Uh, we love this. We, we love you. You're a part of Berkeley Haas now. You're part of Berkeley Executive Education. Uh, go out and do great things. Make us proud. At the same time, we hope that the program has not just enabled you to use the tools and the frameworks, but instead, we hope that it's really allowed you to unlock what your passions are, what you're really interested in, and what you'd love to do next. And I know that, I know that applies to everyone else here as well, right? So follow your passions. Take that plunge. You have the tools to do everything now. Go and take that leap and do what you've always really wanted to do, not what you think, what everybody wanted you to do, or what sounds good in society, right? So follow your passion. And remember, each one of you has your unique strengths, so leverage those along the way. Second thought, or perhaps piece of advice, is that you know each of you is empowered to be a change agent now, right? What that means is going against the grain. Be a leader, have that courage, go change things, and the beauty is you have a cohort now, some colleagues as part of a community, and the extended community here as well, in order to enable you to do that. And then finally, the world seems like a scary place right now, perhaps, geopolitics, you know, a kind of scary meteoric rise of new technologies like ChatGPT, which could, as Kurt said, undermine everything that we do, including what Abhishek and I do as well over here. But it's also time for opportunity. Change is good because it enables the creation of something new. And that's the courage we hope that you will have to take advantage of this because remember, if the world were perfectly predictable, there would not be any innovation. So with that said, congratulations to our CDO graduates and all of you. It's been a wonderful ride and we look forward to the next chapter. Bring us back, I feel like we tend to get caught up in what's on the front page of the news or kind of what's going on in this day. And I think what universities like Berkeley do really well is they've been here for literally over a hundred years. And they've kind of seen change, social change, technological change, political change over the years. And they have this magical power for, to, for whoever comes into their fold, and I remember having this feeling myself when I first came in, uh, to transform those individuals by those enduring values, not the values of the day, but really the, the values that have held these institutions together for, for decades. Uh, and perhaps one of the fundamental ones that we tend to forget that's really enshrined um, in, in Berkeley's motto uh, is fiat lux, let there be light. And so I often find that as a very profound guiding principle in, in these moments of change, in these moments of turmoil. Light can mean um, knowledge in the sense of these frameworks that are potentially giving you some clarity. Uh, light can also mean courage in the face of change. And also light is not an individual term, but one where all of you, when you come collectively together, they can really illuminate an entire landscape of possibilities. So, so as you go out, remember the value of these enduring principles. Um, and as members of these communities, um, Berkeley is now challenging you, but also empowering you uh, to be um, audacious, to, be, to think big, uh, and to indeed be that light. Um, and so, uh, so I think you all have that light now inside of you turned on, uh, and so, so uh, all, we, all we wish for is that you use it uh, to empower those around you uh, and to those who are not as fortunate as you. So. Sai Vaja. Minu Agarwal. Thank you.